Jesus, after the Christ. Well, Jesus? Taste Tour's back, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us on another episode. E2. Now, what we've what got... It, what does that mean? What is this, a lobster? I believe it's yep. probably Brazilian That's for what it means. crawfish. Now, this is a cachaça from Brazil. Uh, Brazil is... Is it or, a crawfish me, or a lobster? It's a lobster. Cachaça is the Brazilian uh, sugarcane distilled, basically rum liquor. Uh, liquor. The only difference is liquor. much, much liquor. better than normal Brazilian. The only difference rums in general made from molasses. Made from molasses is made from sugarcane. I like this much better. Uh, Forty percent alcohol. Made this is the P2 version. One of the never had this many mass-produced one. Means lobster. This is an authentic one from Brazil, Brazil, right? Rather, yeah. Nice. Now, obviously, caipirinhas are the main drink of Brazil and the main drink obviously. of cachaça. But, uh, cachaça also, Apparently. you can drink it straight, and that's what we're getting ready to do. Supposedly, <laughs> the main drink of Brazil is Caipirinhas. If you haven't had a Caipirinha, I don't think we're a Contest Storm because Eric dropped the ball and he didn't buy limes. It's a great drink. It's made with this liquor. You should try it. They had a contest recently. We had a Caipirinha contest. I'm not sure who won. Cachaça has a really funny taste. Yeah, the one, the one I, the one, the one I usually go with the the. <laughs> I like the taste of it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, Coca funny. Fresca actually has a bit of a sweeter, pure taste in this. I think this is definitely these cachaças are definitely meant the, the mass produced ones especially are definitely meant for caipirinhas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's clearly meant for mixing because that is well, the, the Coca Fresca that I have. You can drink straight up, no problem. I think a little easier than this one. This one I imagine since it has a little bit more flavor and it's more unique. This would taste really good in a caipirinha. It does. Yeah. It tastes really effing good in a caipirinha. By itself, it's really not very good at yeah. all. Actually, it tastes really funky. It's fucking gross. Yeah, it's not really good. In a, like I said, in a caipirinha, it's a great drink uh, by itself. I'm I can see how this would lend fan. itself to lime and sugar. It does. Oh, it does big time. You know, I'll rate it a five. I do. I like it better than him. Of course, I don't even know. I don't have a a frame of reference. Well, uh, any any white rum you've had, because that's technically what it is. Oh, compared to any white rum I've had. White rum, not flavored rums. A fucking one. If it's compared to white rum. Yeah, really? That. You're that big of a fan of white? Yeah, you're a rum guy. I forgot. Well, because white rums don't have this really pungent taste like this does. And well, this does have a. With this one, I've had a couple of the cachaças that don't have like this pungent taste. They're just kind of like. It actually, you can almost taste that they're made from sugar cane. Like, it has a sweet taste, kind of a crisp note. This one's a little bit more pungent. I could see where this would make a good a caperina. But yeah, just drinking this by itself on the rocks, probably not the best idea. Nah, make it make a caipirinha with a P2 Yeah, Jasmine. caipirinha, good deal. Make a caipirinha. Sorry to basically waste Sorry our time here. Sorry to make you watch. Uh, maybe I'll make us. a caipirinha with it sometime and prove that it's not terrible. But as it stands, it's not very good. I'm well, not there's even... a lot of liquors that are meant to be mixed with stuff, and you can't really judge them by itself. I'm not even going to go into depth with the rating on this one. I'm not going to... It's... it's. I gave my rating, he gave his. And well, normally I will. Well, no, yeah, I, go didn't. Ahead. I didn't. Um, four. Okay. That's And that's fair. The, the, Probably the seven if you're mixing it with the lime in the... In the basically, the best thing you can take out of this video is, if you buy this cachaça... Do it to... Make a caipirinha with yeah. it. Essentially, look at the there. There's there's a reason. That Buy some pure sugar and some limes to go with it. There's a reason that on the back here, there's a uh, ingredient list and a and a how to make a caipirinha. And every cachaça you you will get mass produced in the United States is going to have that. So because that's what they're made for, caipirinhas essentially. Are some hey, you know? there are there are boutique cachaças that you can find. Very sparingly around yeah. here, but you can find them. They do make them that are actually. Good I'm lucky to find normal ones in Maryland. We don't really. That's not. It's not going to be popular here. It's going to be expensive if you do find them. So, if best thing you can take out of this video, if you want to, if you're interested in the Caipirinha, getting the mass-produced ones is fine. If you want to drink it straight, not recommended. Taste store will be back. This is the P2 Cachaça from Brazil. Sorry, <laughs> Brazil, you're going to probably not like it for this one, but not. Not the great animal. Love Brazil. Love Brazil. Love caipirinhas. Love P2 Cachaça in caipirinhas. Not a big fan of it straight. Taste or be back.